Yes. So much. Sorry, I won't talk over the whole starting. Platform. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless... You were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yaha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. <laughs> can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> oh, yes. This game. I'm so ready. Sorry, everyone. I'm Lizuk. This is Grim Fandango, if you didn't read the title. And I love this game, did I mention? Oh, yes. Take the thing. Let's do this. Let's get it started. <laughs> It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Oh, Too lovely. many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. I how that letter is obviously three seconds. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. This, this is gonna be good. Everyone, I don't know if you've ever played this game before or whether you've just seen it on, um, like, because obviously it's just gone on sale today. Hopefully I am going to upload this. It does not automatically save. Yeah, I know, because I played it originally, like, oh, what was it, like 10, 15 years ago? It was a while ago. Now I feel old. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, <laughs> actually. It's also shinier than your door. I just steal his door, replace it with this door. Anyway, <laughs> we've got a mass poisoning to attend, which is always a fun party, so let's go. But anyway, yes, I played this with me. There goes Dom. He's a git. Goodbye to you, sir. <laughs> Jackass, come back here. Let's run! Run to the land of the living! Go! Can't go through on foot. People oh. have tried, but they never came back. Ooh, weird. Oh man, no, I played it originally. It was amazing back then, and 
I wanted to try it again not that long ago. I was watching someone else play it and I was like, screw it, I want to play it. Tried to load it onto the old computer, which is about 10 years old now. And it loaded up fine, but uh, this lovely main character here, Manny, was in about uh, several hundred pieces across the screen. So I was like, well, crap, that's not going to work. And then I discovered that they were obviously making this, the remastered version. Hey, like, yes. service. Hey, who the... Oh my god, Gladys. I love Gladys. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I love... I love Gladys. He's so lovely. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. <laughs> I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? <laughs> yeah, wasn't that nice? Not really. <laughs> Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... <laughs> to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. <laughs> I love Claudius. Nice hut, man. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. Yeah. Yeah, quit. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <laughs> hmm. Can't imagine. <laughs> Come on, man. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I uh, I uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> I love what you say. Yes, you do. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, wait, no, yeah, I would just agree. Replace. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't rules. Screw the rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. <gasps> How dare you? You're, You're not just too right. big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You... Yes, self-image. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. <laughs> just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, the cars are just too small. It's annoying because I know that's the right answer, but I wanted to see what these say because there's always such... Fun things in this. Screw the rules. Screw the rules. Come with me. No, adventure. I don't want to get in trouble again. again. They said one more strike and I'm out. <gasps> but do you know anyone? Who well, can do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the day of the dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I forgot this game started on the day of the dead. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Including me compared to you. <laughs> I love Gladys. What the? I can look at this thing. Look upon it. That won't help it get signed. How dare you? Oh yeah, it's still in my hand. Can I? Yeah, put it away. Excellent, right. Uh, yes, to the right. Go. 
go. We need to go sign the thing, which I do remember how to do. And, um, yeah, no, so... Mm, I couldn't get this to work, so I have watched someone play it recently about... I think it might have been two years ago? So it hasn't been that long since I last saw it played. Since I last played it has been a long time. <laughs> oh, man. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Because you are lovely. What poisoning? <laughs> the code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Because my driver. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Yeah. Um. Mm, yeah. Let's what do this. if we just skip town tonight, you and me, baby? Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you! You're a trapped soul, and you don't even know it. <laughs> um, 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 um. Yes. Why do some clients this. qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. I <laughs> love how they call it the fat days. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, where was where it? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. He's not here. <laughs> if I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Kel. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. <laughs> She's got a good point. I do know what to do, though. Um, yeah, it wasn't that long ago. I don't have a very good memory, so I don't know how much I'm actually going to remember. But this start bit I always remembered anyway, because I <laughs> love it. Look at that. Look upon it. It's so pretty. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. <laughs> that ganos. No, I, I always love the design of the train. It kind of reminds me... I don't know if anyone's ever watched Pyro. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a um, train in the intro of Pyro, and it's lovely Art Deco style. I swear they look very similar. Look at all this stuff. Yay, it's the happy, happy clown. <laughs> so joyful. Looks like some sort of crafty mind. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. They say what? Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> he could be practicing that. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Hmm. <laughs> Bet you can't do a cat. It shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. Cat, bingo, dead worm, Robert Frost. Yes, who is that? Robert I Frost. don't know. Trying to stump me, eh? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Ta-da! Don't know who that is, but evidently he smokes a pipe. <laughs> what is that? Whoa, where are you going? Manny, no! I thought he was just... Oh, wait. You, uh, no, put this put that thing away. I can't remember if there's a... I'm sure this guy has a bit of funny dialogue, so let's talk to him again. Um... Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Uh, you would if I spun you around. Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any... 
tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Go, go point. <laughs> Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! <laughs> Bang! Uh, <laughs> pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers! <laughs> I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? <laughs> ah, there we go. I need some of this. Look upon it with your eyes. The bread of the dead. <laughs> bread of the dead. I said that. I was like, look upon it with your eyes. And I was like, but that guy said we have no tongues. We don't have eyes. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. And both the bread and balloon animals are important. Don't question me. <laughs> right then. Um, oh look. Hello. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Mm, you see this thing though? Get over there faster. <laughs> oh man. Look. It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. <laughs> it is cheap ties. You know, I don't think I ever noticed that before. I always thought it was that thing. Not like a proper, uh, like decoration, because there's the uh, party going on, or party parade, whatever you want to say. Apparently, it's just ties. Ah, oh, that must be how he escaped. By which I mean, hey, look, we're in his office. It's Don's office. <laughs> To all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. <laughs> That's so harsh. <laughs> That's me. This place is a mess. It is. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. Go. <laughs> right, I know exactly what we need to do. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Oh, you see what's about Not to happen? Not picking that up. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> There's a different one for operate. Not now, Eva. Wait, beating. That's the one that's set. Whatever it is, you have to wait. Uh, cripes, Eva, just sign it yourself. That's the one. That's the one. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! <laughs> but that's that sorted. I don't think there's anything else I can do along here. I can walk along here. That's, that's his window. That's Dom's window, isn't it? Get there faster. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Uh, steal his whole office! Not picking that up. <laughs> Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. <laughs> oh, man. I, I really wanted something that was just like, man, I do not want to steal an entire office. Wait, what? Hmm. I know I have to get that on it there, but I think I need something to hook it first. Oops. Let's go. Not picking that up. God damn it. Will you get down the rope? Thank you. That's what I was intending to do, but I accidentally clicked the wrong side. Oops. <laughs> right. Carry on. Go, Manny, go. Ah, oh, this game played it way back when, you know, when I was absolutely terrible at games, which for some I'm still not that good, but I've improved a little bit, and that's all that matters. <laughs> right, let's get the thing signed, and then I think that's probably enough. You hurry up, how long does it take to walk out of an elevator? You butt. Uh, yes. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Eva, I'm 
impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> oh, Gladys, you're so awesome. Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Wouldn't try it. Ah, uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Something many people have said before. <laughs> oh, the land of the living. Domino. Get. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. I love it. Look at this place. It's awesome. What's that? Look at that. Look at the thing. Don't look at him. Truth be told, I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free. <laughs> what about the burger and fries? I have to say, this food looks pretty good. Oh man, you can't eat nothing. You're dead. Look at these poor saps. <laughs> oh, God. oh God! It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. <laughs> so awesome! I forgot about that. Do they all do it? All Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. Why are they smiling if everyone's just been poisoned? Ooh. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Soon I'll be coming for them. <laughs> Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> it's because it's awesome. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man <laughs> named Calavera. <laughs> I can't use my bare hands. Oh, I'm sorry. a professional. Sorry, sorry, I did forget. Need to get that first. I uh, do the thing. Swing. <laughs> nice bathroom. <laughs> oh man, I love the land of the living. It's a shame you only get to get go there once. We offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. <laughs> get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile, and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I ought to. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. <laughs> well, 
leads do you occasionally fly in attached to bricks? Just depends where you're standing. Anyway. Oh man, I said once. I th no, you get to go to the land of the dead twice, don't you? I'm not spoiling nothing. As if it's not obvious. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to probably record a lot more because I love this game. And by a lot more, I mean just today. I am going to finish the whole thing, obviously. So thank you, guys. I'll catch you later.